Hello, welcome to episode 8 of Let's Play Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles with Papazilla. Uh, today, we're hopefully uh, going to investigate a village that I saw on the outskirts of, uh, not too far from here, it's a little hike, but not too much. I also had a roguelike dungeon over there, so I may go ahead and go do the first uh, couple levels of that one as well, just to get a little more loot, uh, and then come back and uh, continue on the path. Uh, I do want to get... Uh, little more armor done, uh, maybe enhance some weapons a little bit, uh, get, continue down the quest lines, hopefully get some uh, mystical agriculture going as well. But uh, that should do a good start for today, and we'll go from there. Take care. Okay, so here we are at the village. Quite a bit of ways, but not, not too bad overall, I would say. I just sort of check it out. The other thing I found here is a uh, uh, tin fish right here. Not bad. Yeah. With your seeding a little bit. Uh, so we have here leather worker. We are librarian. Ramble three. This house seems to be pretty. I don't know if I have the mystical white flower yet, but uh, I'll go ahead and grab one. We have a uh, armor. If I have an emerald for an iron helmet, that is not a bad place. This is the good hall of copper or silicone. Jim Fan. Craft. Librarian. So the bookshelf. I don't really need the books right now, but it'd be nice to know they're here for the future. Uh, we have some potatoes. So again, don't really need to have potatoes. I think I just, uh, oh, another librarian up here. Cartographer, sorry, cartographer here. One thing I haven't seen yet is potatoes, potatoes, beetroot, seeds. And this is what I was looking for. Jam guy. Uh, 
Last one was James. And more, the thing I really wanted. Good there. And we need a chest. Perfect. Now, the other thing I like is this carpet. I'm sorry. Sorry, dude. But I like the carpet. Taps and some sap. I don't need that right now, so I might as well take it. And, uh, and I actually have a fairly decent orchard as well, so I won't really need any of the other stuff, so I'll leave that there. Perfect. So I will head over to the dungeon and do a little run in there and then head back home. Pretty good trip so far. Okay, so here we are in the second, uh, first floor of the second uh, tower, real like towers that we did. Uh, I'm just going to go through, I didn't uh, tape this part, but uh, first area is actually, <laughs> it was a little uh, anticlimactic, one big room and no spawners at all in this area. Um, so we just ran down there, um, marked it off uh, a little that way, Not just wasn't much in there, I think we had... Uh, basically nothing so we went down here um, here once again uh, was uh, nothing down here uh, no spawners just a straight block did have these two areas that are open to below but uh, this side a little more so um, goes down below but uh, you know just uh, we did have one room we did we went took all this stuff took the the chest and the droppers out of that took the fireplace um, found a little bit of stuff in here um, but uh, once again, very uh, not much here. Uh, all of the action was in the third one, and I taped that one, so we did it uh, there. Uh, haven't taken the cake yet. Haven't even searched the checks and cash and cake your room. Um, just gonna go ahead and get that out of there. Um, we'll take the cake as well. Boom. I don't know. Have I eaten a cake yet? Yes, I have. So we're good there. Up, oh, and I see somebody coming out here. go um oh coming up from down below that's uh, interesting yeah my uh, terrible fighting skills are on display right there um so i don't want to get rid of him So close last time when I got rid of it. Okay. Um, I want to actually block this up for now. So I will unblock it later. But for now, I'm going to take the stairs and do that. Uh, because when I did search this one, I had quite a few spawners in this one. We went down here. Um, I'm not going to redo them all. But uh, there's still a sword in there. Um, the main thing to take away from here and what I will work on is a potential triple spawner uh, to make into a little uh, room to sort of do some farming up there. So we have uh, over here, over here, these two definitely will be able to make a double spawner from this. Uh, we have one of them which is skeletons and the other zombies I believe. Now the third one, which I'm not sure if we're going to be able to reach it, is down here. But as you can see, that's lighting up, light up. So I'll give that a test out, see what we can do, and then come back later.
Okay, so here is the tower where I built the farm on the first floor. A little bit of a hike over here, but uh, let's go down and... Okay, so I made the triple spawner uh, basically past this way is the first room. Spawning monsters, the other two are past that. Down here is to the kill room, um, which is going to be right here uh, as they flow down, but obviously they have to spawn with that go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head... Oh, I'm just swipe the bed real quick. No monsters nearby.
no pepper. No one is done. There will be some time in the future that actually happens. Okay, if we run things up for today, I wanted to go ahead and get a bunch of stuff. I actually had a very productive couple of days. Um, ended up visiting the village, getting our uh, first crate, a uh, small storage crate here, putting it there, down. Um, ended up uh, first level and a half of the dungeon and all, but I'll more importantly set up a, a triple spawner that uh, can go over there and farm a bit when we want. A little bit of a hike, probably make it a little quicker. Even set up a rail station in between the two of them if I want to. Um, but I also wanted to get through a few more quests today before I uh, ended up this episode. But uh, So first of all, go back into the main quest line. Uh, just a couple things. Did make the brownstone, um, put it up at the top for now. Um, it, Go through. One nice thing is it's for traveling faster. Um, probably will end up making a lot more of this. Uh, the, the one's a little cheaper for a lot of the pathways around the place. Just to I uh, had found all the trees earlier as well, so we get some honey sliced bread as copper points from that. Um, and uh, additionally, dark gems was one that brought us just one closer. Um, had found a few of those out hunting, so hunting for the dark gems, copper coins, and that. Uh, now we're going to go in a little bit into some of the other tiers that we were working on. On the main quest line, uh, we finished uh, making the, a couple of extra cells and did the uh, solid silicone cells there. Uh, we're going to get a couple of empty ones for that. Um, we have to choose uh, empty cells, uncommon loot bag. I think actually... And common look bag. I haven't had much luck on the bags recently, but never give up. Um, for the dank knoll, we are right about able to make it, so let's go ahead and just go ahead and do that. Um, give one extra move over in this one. Uh, so for the dank knoll, we need five of these plates. Um, go ahead and you can see we actually have enough for six. Uh, I need to clear out some room first, but. Uh, Let's do that. Okay, so we'll make five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can go back in and clear that stuff off. And now we'll go in here and make the deck null. So that one finishes up that quest line right there. And some copper and a upgrade panel. So the upgrade panel would be when we upgrade the deck null. Uh, after the silicon, we made the molten silicon to get two lead plates and one silver coin. That led us to two things. The gem cutter, which was just simple. To, I made an iron one, but uh, two iron string and cord. So once again, pretty simple on that. It gives us an emerald and a silver coin. It's one of the pieces that's uh, made for uh, Tools we'll need. We had found ventral trees out there, uh, so we did that. Then uh, crystallized ventral, redstone, have both of those. So I'm going to get the rare loot back. Um, and then the uh, two other ones we will get the need to make these for transferring uh, energy, uh, but we're, we're right there right now. The dank knoll gives us uh, either the block or, or the, the lapis. Um, Hmm. I want to see what the lapis actually the lapis panel. So that's four coals, two lapis blocks, blue glass, luminescence. Yeah, I'm going to take the panel in that case. Uh, for other areas, we did a little more on as well. Blacksmith's workshop. We made the fluid extractor. Um, we finished the biomass. We then had already done the squeezer. Uh, Stuff sitting on the ground, so I'm gonna do this. 
uh, the, the flux of the fluid ductal max for transferring to us works. So we get the serve all the fluid in the lemon lime soda. We had already done sale, cell, so that was a quick one as well. And then we did a methane gas. We did one of our uh, hummus and converted it to methane gas. So that's where we are right now. And the gas burner, once again, is a simple one, but uh, we'll do that a little bit later. Just going to clean up some of this stuff into the inventory so that I can make sure I don't lose anything. I don't need the seeds for something else. Over there. Just walk around. don't want to have anything. Uh, Perfect. Oh. Okay. Just throw once again a few more things in there. Hate to lose a quest reward. Um, just get rid of this rain. And then the last area where I have a little bit, uh, or Zalos, I'll, I'll do those at another time, just sort of keeping the work on the collecting there. But uh, I did want to do a little mystical agriculture. Inferium seeds. I'll go ahead and make that. Stick and the feather, mystical stick and feather. Ah, missing my stick. I'll finish that one next time up. Um, and on the other side, crafting seed, tier one crafting seed. I'll go ahead and make that one. And there we go. Keep that one up. Perfect. Uh, that's it for today. We will stop there. And uh, this is uh, Papa Zilla in the rain again. Uh, wishing you all a great day, and uh, we'll see you back shortly. Bye for now.